right about now. Right about now. And we got some more popping. We bring exactly what you're wanting more often. The whole team's feeding to watch your jaw drop. This is World TV, and we got you all watching. Why did we take a step away? I don't know. I mean, there wasn't a day that went by without me wanting to do a Cage Warriors show. Um, you know, I love Cage Warriors. It's, it's here, it's in my heart, it's everything I do. You know, there isn't a day go by though, and I thought about wanting to do a Cage Warriors show. And um, we got the opportunity, we did it. Um, but like I said, matchmaking is not what, what, the only thing I do. I, I like working with fighters, I like working with other shows. I've got excellent contacts in and around Europe. I've got guys in um, the States who I work with. And you know, I help guys out there put on shows as well, get guys out there. So yeah, you know, like I said, like I said earlier, I'm not a one-trick pony. We're not a one-trick pony. And um, that's it. There was a lot of haters out there that just thought we were dead. But we, we, we would just wanted to take time out. At the time, if you have a look back in 2008, 2009, there was a big recession. There was um, a lot of shows spending a lot of money and they're just burning it. And it, there's no point doing that. So, you know, like I said, and that's making a big statement of this show. I think we're just doing what Cage Warriors does, you know. I've said from day one, since I've ever been associated with a brand, you know, Cage Warriors is about pure MMA. It's MMA for the purest, you know. It's, um, we've always wanted to showcase the best European guys we can against the best UK guys. No egos, no attitudes, just pure MMA. And, you know, we can do that. Um, I'm really happy with the response that we're getting from the show. I mean, Cage Warriors, Young Guns, um, we're trying to do something a little bit from the norm. A lot of shows out there in the UK right now, they're either full of semi-pro AMI guys, you know, that, that good kids, they mean well, but for me, that don't excite me, don't interest me. And I think the days of, you know, promotion sitting there, bringing in 12, 14 fight cards full of uh, pro fights, I think that's gone too. You know, we've got an exciting um, undercard for the kids that are going to make a lot of impressions. You know, a lot of the kids here are training right here at the MMA clinic. Um, you know, they're really keen, there's a great buzz. You know, there's only a photo went up the other day, massive queue, you know, guys want to be associated with this brand. We've got a new generation of people that want to be, want to be in with Cage Warriors. And like I said, over the last couple of years, I've been inundated with people in Europe that, that have wanted to fight on Cage Warriors because they know that they'll fight on Cage Warriors, they can go places. Why should people get excited about Cage Warriors? Well, I think we, we offer something unique in the UK MMA scene. As I said before, you know, um, there's a lot of hype with shows. You go on Facebook, you go on the internet, what do you see? Ah, you know, we're Europe's biggest promotion. We're Europe's biggest case fighting promotion. Look at us, look at us. You know, look at me, I'm so big. We're not like that. You know, we're the show for the fighters. We're a show that since day one has been all about the fighters, promoting these guys. You look at the guys from Cage Warriors who have gone on to bigger things. Guys like Antonio Silva, guys like Jeff Monson, Bispin, Ross, Ross Point and Ross Pearson. Dan Hardy, Jimmy Ward, who's just signed for Bellator, um, Rosie Sexton, even Danny Button and Paul McVeigh, are the champions. They've all gone on and fought and done better things. And that's what we do, you know. I'm really, really passionate about the brand and the guys. And um, it shows, and it's going to show again on October the 1st. Um, this show, you know, maybe if there's one thing you criticised Cage Warriors in the past, I think, was that maybe production-wise, we weren't always there. But this time, you know, with um, the new owners, They've poured money into this production. We've got a fantastic venue in the HMV Forum. You know, I've been there half a dozen times. There isn't a bad seat in that house. You know, you only have to look up, look up on the tiers, you look down, it's perfect. We've got a lovely cage, 30 foot cage. We've got the whole place we're gonna deck out. It's gonna look, it's not, it's gonna look like a show, like a real proper uh, event. Something that people are gonna wanna fight on and people are gonna wanna see. Um, we've got lots of tricks up our sleeve. You know, we've been hammering this out now since the end of July, since the takeover went on. Um, you know, and it's great to work with some people, again, like who are a family. You know, you only have to walk around these offices, walk around this gym, um, or even go to other shows and you see them there. And yeah, you get this family sense, and that's what I like. You know, um, I'm not someone who can work alone. I, I need people there with me, and I, I, really feel, I really feel I've got some real backing now. And we're going to take this brand to the next level. And... Um, yeah, I'm really, really excited. Um, yeah, and I can't wait. Haters, well look, you know, you're always gonna get haters in this game. Or in any industry, you're gonna get haters. Um, it's how you deal with them, is what makes, you know, is what makes it special, you know. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of hate about the Sergei Grichenko, Jason Young fight. Um, 
you know, people saying I'm throwing Jason Young to the Lions, people criticising my matchmaking. Look, it's fine, you know. Um, I'm, I can take that on the chin, you know. Good luck to him. Um, but I think people are going to underrate uh, Jason Young this time. Nah. You know, they're, they're on to a loser. You know, yeah, the kid's coming off a loss against Paul Sass. But, you know, he went out there and fought Sass in his own backyard. You know, a lesson that a lot of other UK guys should take. You can't sit at home all day long fighting on your own show with your promoter in front of your mates, you know, getting lucky. Um, Young went out there, he'd done the biz. Yeah, he got submitted. Hey, it happens. Um, since then, just look at the people he's been training with. Paul Semtex Daily, Yasputi Emimoto, you know, guys fighting in Japan in um, Sengoku, you know, guys like Pete Irvin uh, and loads more. You know, he's going to be ready. I mean, Young's already flown out of his own pocket to go to uh, Switzerland to train with Emimoto for a week. You know, the guy's a fantastic submission specialist. You know, he's going to be drilling Young all day long. Um, as for Sergey, yeah, not a lot of people know him, but um, those, in, those in the industry do. You know, he's ranked number one in Europe at featherweight. And he's there for a reason. You know, this is a, a world Sambo champion, uh, two-time. Uh, he's fought at um, over, I think, 77 kilos. And, uh, you know, he's stepping up again to fight young uh, at a catch weight of 70, sorry, 67.5. But, um, you know, he's going to be no walker over either. You only have to look on YouTube, put his name on YouTube, and, you, you know, he's there submitting guys with all manner of crazy submissions, leg locks, heel hooks, arm bars, triangles. I mean, the guy's even fought submission grappling in the cage. Um, but you know, he's got to come over to London, the big lights, you know, apart from when he beat the former Shuto champion Masahiro Oshi, he's never really, I think, fought on a big stage. So that's going to play a factor. And Young's so hungry and, you know, there's been a lot of hate about him. And uh, I know he's, you know, keen to prove a lot of people wrong, but win or lose, it's one of them fantastic fights. And, you know, it's one of them battles that I say is like a cage warrior's bout, you know. It's two skillful guys going at it. Um, again, no egos. No fake hype, just pure skill. And um, you know, Young's going to bring his A game, his fantastic striking. Sergey's going to go and bring his, his submission skills. It's going to be a hell of a fight. I can't wait. I mean, what I feel separates us from a lot of other UK shows is the matchmaking. Um, I do think I'm the best matchmaker in the UK. I'm not a very arrogant person, but I honestly believe that. And I believe it's going to show again on um, October the 1st. You know, look at our main event. Kenneth Ross Faulkness versus um, Matt Veach, you know, Here's a three-time UFC veteran in Veach who went 11-0 in his first 11 bouts. You know, he lost two um, of his three UFC fights. I mean, his last UFC fight against Paul Kelly was a bloodbath and he showed amazing courage, you know, to last the way he did against Kelly. Um, since then, he's got two straight wins over the summer. You know, I think, why not? You know, it's great to work with guys like the Hit Squad. And again, what the new backers at Cage Warriors have done is they've, you know, given us more options. You know, I've always been had good links in Europe um, and now we're getting more contacts in America and um, as for Ross Fulton Ness, you know, this is a guy who's 14 and 3, he's quality, um, I'll be honest with you, I don't think no UK fighter would want to fight him, that's why we had to go to the States, you know, that's why we had to go and get a Bellator veteran like Greg Loughran uh, to, fight, to fight for the title last time, um, Ross Fulton's got fantastic striking, a guy with 9 TKOs. You know, he's a guy who's beaten some of the best guys in Europe, guys like Diego Gonzalez, Franco Di Leonardo, um, you know, even Jeff Lawson from TUF9. You know, he, he, he KO'd Lawson uh, in Denmark and it was, it was horrible. The guy who used to fight at World Away, he holds title belts at welter and lightweight in Europe. Um, he's a complete fighter. And I think the other interesting thing about this fight is, you look at Veach, he's had two straight wins since, since being cut. If he gets a third, you know, he picks up the title. And I think he can go back to Joe Silver and say, well, look, you know, hey, three wins. I've won a title on a main event, on a big show. You know, let me in. And, um, you know, Ross Fulton Ness, he wants to do the same. I think he's one of Europe's real remarkable talents. Top 10 in Europe. Um, he's exciting. He's got unbelievable KO power. He's got good ground skills and he's marketable. And I think when people, you know, dig in and and have a look and read up about these guys, they're going to see why that's a fight you can't afford to miss. No way. And that, you know, the main event isn't our only fight we've got either. Um, you know, we're lucky enough to get Chain Mills on the card. You know, people who have followed MMA in the UK for a long time know that Chain Mills is a really exciting talent. You know, this is a guy who this year fought in Japan. Um, before that, he was on TUF9. I think he had like eight fights undefeated for three or four years here in the UK. Cage Rage, British champ. Um, you know, 
He's very big, he's strong at the weight, and you know, he's fighting a really talented guy as well in Jake Hett, who's seven and one. Um, I think he's six in a row, he's won. He's knocking on the big show's door. Again, it's the kind of fight, UK versus America. I don't think you see these, sh- these kind of fights in any other shows in the UK. You know, we all have our local battles, but you know, if you look at this card, we're pitching the best of Europe against the States, the best of the UK against some European talent. I mean, we've even got Danny Batten back, his first fight for two years, our featherweight champ, fighting in a non-title fight, you know, against a three and one, um, a three and one French kid who's really, really exciting as well. So, yeah, I think um, the show is going to be exciting, and people need to get the tickets now. Um, it's an excellent venue, and it, you know, if you look at us, on, we're on Facebook. If you uh, search for us, Cage Warriors Fighting Championship, we're there. All the news is on there. We've got CageWarriors.com and our forum, CageWarriors.com backslash forums, which is you know the biggest forum in Europe. Lots of top UK guys post there. It's always a lot of fun. And um, yeah, the, you know, the tickets information's on there. Tickets start at 25 pounds. You can come up to the um, MA clinic in Angel Bay tickets. So, you know, we're, we're confident that people are gonna wanna go and see it. And, um, you know, seven pro fights on the card. Got some real, real barnstormers on there, to use a, a cliche. And um, come down, I think you're gonna enjoy it. <laughs>